What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. So it's Cardistry Con season for all you cardists and card collectors out there. Unfortunately this year I was not able to make it, which is a real bummer because my brother lives in Portland, it would have been cool to kind of visit with some family, I wouldn't have had to pay for a hotel. Just all would have worked out, but I guess not this year. I'm pretty bummed about it, but hopefully next year. But in honor of Cardistry Con, we're gonna celebrate by reviewing the Cardistry Con 2019 deck produced by Art of Play. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. Let's go. All right, so. This is the Cardistry Con 2019 deck. My 10th, I believe, episode of Way Back Wednesday was dedicated to the Cardistry Con 2018 deck. So, here we go. The tuck case is done entirely in this uh, kind of army olive green cardstock, and it's completely matte and it is fully embossed. So, you can see it says Cardistry kind of wrapped all the way around it and it's embossed, which I think is really cool because with certain things, especially with matte cardstock, it's easy to just print on it, but doing embossing just kind of takes that extra step to really elevate it. And in this case, it worked out great. One side is embossed with the words playing cards. The other side just has that wraparound cardistry text. There is embossed ad copy on the bottom. Like the lowest selling point on a deck of cards, or the thing that people care the least about is the ad copy on the bottom. And Art of Play embossed it, and it looks sick. It looks really cool. And of course, you get this really neat Cardistry Con sticker kind of acting as a seal on the deck. I love that. It looks like a Supreme sticker, and it was just kind of like, like carelessly wrapped on the deck. I think it looks really cool, and I love the way that the red contrasts the green. It looks awesome. Inside the tongue flap, 2019 has been embossed on the large side and then on the two small sides there are two C's standing of course for Cardistry Con. Let's look at the deck. First let's talk about the ad cards since they're here. You do get a borderless back design for the ad cards with the Cardistry Con 2019 official sponsors and then the other ad card says printed by the United States Playing Card Company with love. I actually really like that. I kind of want to like frame that and like just have it up somewhere. Your back design looks like this. It is this really, really nice kind of uh, orbit tally-ho design, but it's been skewed to where one side is not lined up with the other, which makes it look really cool in rotation. Look at this. That looks awesome. Uh, it does make it a one-way back design, so holding it like this versus holding it like that, two different things, but for cardistry, I don't think that's a big deal. And it has a perfectly sized border in white. This is like, to me, that's like the ideal border size. Your ace of spades looks like this. It's kind of two adjoined spade pips. It almost looks like trees, um, which because of cardistry con is in Portland this year, that may be the motif here. And it has the Cardistry Con banner just kind of plastered over it or like sticker slapped right over it, which looks awesome. It does have standard indexes, but it says Portland, Oregon, July 19 through 21, while Cardistry Con is happening. Now you're gonna get two jokers with this deck. And I say that because they're really just two more ad cards, but they're really interesting. So one of them says, everything you need to know about Cardistry is in this deck. Only every word has been crossed out in red, except for the word Cardistry. Really cool, that's again, like you could put all the ad cards like in a frame next to each other and just have this piece of art on your wall. The other one is definitely my favorite one. It says, cards are made from paper, paper is made from trees, card is tree. Card is tree, card is tree. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. <laughs> yeah, I really like those ad cards. I'm okay with not having any jokers. It's not like I'm gonna be out performing magic with this deck because it was $15 plus shipping. All right, now the rest of your cards are gonna be basically standard, as you can see. The only customization that this deck has is a little bit of color swapping on the court cards. Now really, the only difference here is that the blue that would be on a traditional court card has been swapped out for green on this deck. 
It looks really good, especially with the amazing colors of the back design that really pop. I have to say, by the way, this is, in my opinion, um, probably the best color palette to use for this deck of cards. Love, love, love the green face uh, and just some of those green accents. Other than that, I mean, we're talking completely standard pips. Queen of Diamonds looks like that. Jack of Clubs looks like that. You get the idea. It's basically bicycle standard, only on the court cards. Any blue that was on the deck has now been swapped for olive green. So that's pretty much it for how the deck looks. Which, by the way, if you didn't get it by now, I think this deck looks sweet. I definitely like it more than the Cardistry Con 2017 and 18 decks. But now, let's switch angles and talk about the handling. Okay, so in terms of handling, uh, these cards are printed on uh, crushed bicycle stock, so they are extremely thin. Um, and Art of Play always makes really thin cards nowadays. These ones I feel like are thinner than uh, usual. They might even be double crushed. They are so thin, um, which means that right out of the box, they just feel amazing. Um, I really like the way that the cards look in pretty much every flourish that I can do. Um, in the spring, I love it. You can see the white circle makes these like white rings just like the Orbit deck, which is really cool. The cards look pretty standard in a fan. However, if you take about half of the cards and fan them, you get this awesome fan, which shows this nice green streak that kind of just rolls right through that fan. And it looks really, really cool. If you fan the cards for the indices, uh, it looks basically just like a standard deck. These do look great in a spread though, because you kind of get that uh, contrast of the black and green with that white that just really shines through. Looks really, really good. Let's see how they pharaoh. It looks like the cards definitely pharaoh best from bottom to top. I don't know if for cardistry, I don't know if that really makes a difference. Um, as a magician, <laughs> uh, it definitely makes a difference, but I am not 100% sure for cardistry. These cards are definitely soft. They don't require any breaking in and they are also uh, nice and snappy, which is good. Usually the thinner the card, uh, the more flimsy it feels. These cards are still snappy, uh, but they also are, are very, very easy to work with. They're very malleable. Here's that new dribble sound. Now, if I had to compare the feel of these cards uh, in terms of just how they're gonna feel in your hands, I would say, uh, just because of how thin they are, if you have either of the knock color grade decks, which were Art of Play and Alex Pandrea, uh, they feel basically exactly like that. Uh, or I would say maybe also if you have Wheels decks by DKNG and Art of Play, they definitely feel like that, uh, but a little bit thinner maybe. So there you go. Well guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode and my review of the Cardistry Con 2019 playing cards produced by Art of Play. If you're interested in picking up this deck for yourself, it is available at artofplay.com or if you're at the convention, just know that I'm envious and you can probably pick up the deck there as well. If you are at Cardistry Con this year, let me know down in the comments and tell me how you're liking it or if you met any interesting people or if you learned anything super cool or uh, you know what the new Fontaine deck looks like. Please do drop a like on the video guys and I hope you'll consider subscribing for more awesome content. And of course, I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.